Hi, I'm Amit Arora, Chairman FMSCI Two Wheeler Racing Commission. I'm also the race director for the FMSCI Indian National Motorcycle Racing Championship, which is running along with the One Make Championships of Honda, Yamaha, and TVS. Basically, to start racing in India, the first thing is you need to be 15 years of age. So you really start young, and we advise you to start with the One Make Championships purely because it's very, very uh, reasonable, or I can in, put it in the local words, it's very cheap. At just 2,000 rupees, you're off racing in a national level event. So you start with the One Make Championships in the novice category. You do well, you move on to the open category, which is with the modified bikes. You do well there, you move on to the national championships where you have to bring your bike so it becomes much more expensive. You are setting up your bike everything. So you get into the novice category in the national championship. Once you do well there, you move on to the open category with the big boys, with the ex-national champions, with you know the who's who of two-wheeler racing in India. The format of what you can do is the one makes, then you move on to the national championship. And then uh, the sport is governed by the rules of the FIM, that's the Federation International Motorcyclist, which is represented by the Federation of Motorsports Clubs of India. So to start racing in India, you need to take a license from FMSCI, okay, which is a license, you know, it need not be 18. You can be below 18, but you can take a racing license. You take a racing license, you fill up the entry forms for the events, which is with the Madras Motorsports Club. Madras Motorsports Club uh, is one of the oldest clubs in India and they are the pioneers as far as racing in India goes, whether it is two-wheeler or four-wheeler. And uh, they hold the championship rights for the national championship for 2013, 14 and 15. Broad categorizing for any rider is whether you are a novice or you are an open. A novice rider is anybody who is below 23 years of age and who has not won any race ever in whatever series possible. If you are above 23 years of age and if you have won any race in any of the championships, you move on to the open category. When you move on to the national championship, you have currently three classes running. The first is the Group D 130cc for the novice. Basically, Group D means unmodified bikes. The bike is stock, you have no modifications, your modifications are only aesthetic where you can remove the headlights, tail lights, indicators, bumpers and mud guards etc. Otherwise engine wise no changes. Then we have the next category which is the Group D 165cc. This also we have kept it for the novice. Once you have done this, when you have run one races or you are above 23, you move on to the big class which is the Group C. 165 cc group c is basically modified or rather fully modified but it is restricted to indian components you can't use foreign components this is again basically done to keep the cost low as it is with these costs it's expensive racing so it's purely to maintain low budgets where you can buy you can basically go to your local spare part shop you can buy the part you can make whatever changes you want, whether it be it suspension, be it engine, everything. The only thing is you have to maintain that the original chassis and the casing of the bike. This year we've uh, finally made it to the Buddha International Circuit in Greater Noida. Uh, basic, it's a world-class facility, an F1 track, which is already certified. They have now been certified by FIM also for the World Superbike. Being a world-class facility, it is expensive, very justified, because they are giving you those kind of facilities, those kind of, you know, the atmosphere, the, the track, everything. It is world-class. Buddha International Circuit, we are going for one round this year. And to maintain our economies, we have clubbed it along with the car championship. We are running both the cars and the bikes combined on September 12th to 15th 
and uh, it would be a huge, huge, huge event for Indian motorsport because not just the cars and the manufacturer like Toyota in the cars, you would get Honda, Yamaha, TVS, Toyota all in one platform. That's what we want. We want the manufacturers to back our championships. We want the manufacturers to back the competitors and make racing affordable. Talking about the Madras Motor Race track, we have made big changes on the track. One big change is the pit lane. Pit entry is exactly after you come down the bridge. This is purely done for safety. It makes racing much more safer. Apart from that, the runoff areas have been really worked on. They have been extended, gravel traps have come in, armco barriers have come in, tire walls have you know, it's a huge exercise for improved safety. The track is way, way up from what it was because it was an old track which was started in 1990. So safety standards way back in 90 and now are totally different. So we brought it up to safety standards of the FIA Grade 3 already and we are working to get it to up to FIA Grade 2. We also already got our certification with FIM Asia. We brought in the FIM Asian Road Racing Series, which is the premier championship in Asia. It's already run here in the month of July. And uh, we really look forward to lots more international events coming even to the Madras Motor Race Track. Our message to youngsters in India is one and simple. Racing is not for the public roads. If you want to race, come down to the race tracks, do your racing in a safe environment which is good for you and good for the general public.